Dozens of people demonstrated outside the Texas State Attorney General's office today in protest of plans to execute convicted murderer Gary Graham. The Attorney General's challenging a stay of execution Graham had won from an appeals court. Graham was convicted of murdering a man 12 years ago outside a Houston supermarket. Mike Capps has more. Music, everything. Rick Sanford says Gary Graham robbed him 12 years ago. This is our symbolic response to encourage everyone to avoid buying Kenny Rogers or Danny Glover movies, music. Now he calls for a boycott of Kenny Rogers and Danny Glover's work. Both celebrities want a new trial for convicted death row inmate Gary Graham. It was because of the other crimes that I had committed that led to my conviction in this case because... At age 17, Graham went on a crime rampage. He admits to 10 armed robberies, but says he did not murder anyone. At a Houston news conference, three previous victims of Graham urged the state to execute the inmate. He was a man out of control. Rick Sanford says Graham approached him in a parking garage. He says Graham was polite, was dressed in a coat and tie. Then he pulled a gun. He changed personalities from the nice, pleasant young guy into uh, a man who was enjoying uh, the power. This scar on my leg is his tattoo that I'll have for the rest of his life. A shotgun blast severed David Spire's leg. The incident happened after Graham abducted Spires, then tried to rob him. And he is the felon, he is the criminal, he is the murderer, he is the rapist, and he is the shooter. Doctors reattached Spire's leg. After three months rehabilitation, he could walk again. He hit the gun up against my throat. Greg Jones says Graham shot him in the throat outside a Houston convenience store. When the gun hit my throat, I turned at an angle and saw him smile as he shot me. He smiled when he shot me. Jones staggered into the store, then passed out. His parents found him in a pool of blood. He says quick medical attention saved his life. What happened to them was horrific. No question about it. No, nobody's arguing that. But that doesn't mean that just because he did other things, he should be put to death for something he didn't do. That's Amnesty International Chairman Rick Halpern insists the state should hear from four witnesses, claiming Graham was not the gunman who killed a man outside a Houston supermarket. One woman testified she saw Graham pull the trigger. A prosecutor's doubt there are four other witnesses. His life is being threatened by the state for a crime which he did not commit. Last week, an Austin judge ordered a new hearing. An appeals court postponed Graham's scheduled execution until it can rule on the judge's order. The Texas Attorney General is challenging the postponement, and Gary Graham remains on death row. He is life in the hands of the courts. Mike Capps, CNN, Dallas.